Okay, this video is about the world pattern of climate, and by the end of that, I want you to be able to explain why the global pattern of climate is the way it is. Uh, by the end of the lesson, I hope you can explain what climate is, and then identify and explain the differences in the pattern of climate around the world. So there are five reasons or factors that affect um, global climate. First of all is the distribution of continents. Second one is topography. Third, the composition of the atmosphere. Fourth is the variations in the amount of income in solar radiation. Fifth, the revolution of the Earth around the Sun and its daily rotation on its axis. So let's have a look at insulation, sorry, isolation variation. This is the amount of sunlight that comes into contact with the Earth. Um, obviously, the closer you are to the equator, the higher the um, insulation is. This is because the equator receives the sun's full rays. And as you can see, every degree of latitude that you change, um, the percentage um, decreases. Therefore, traditionally, you know, more sun, hotter climates. The next one is the Earth's revolution. So obviously we um, go around the sun. Uh, we, it takes us one year to go all the way around the sun. Um, when we do that, halfway through the year, we tip closer to the sun. Then we tip away. That's why we have summer, winter. Um, but that tilt can have a big impact on climate. Um, like everything in nature, it's not a perfect circle. Sometimes we go a little bit closer to the sun, sometimes we're a little bit away from the um, sun, and that impacts um, seasons and the amount of sun, and therefore climate. Um, so it's not constant. So that's one other thing that affects patterns of climate. Uh, then we've got the composition of the atmosphere. Um, so it's important that the atmosphere obviously regulates the weather and, and therefore climate and also sometimes the composition of the atmosphere changes. Sometimes um, ozone is thicker in places, there's more pollution um, that can be human induced as well as volcanic activity and basically um, if there's a change in that chemical composition of the atmosphere it affects the climate. Um, basically if the greenhouse did not happen, the greenhouse effect didn't happen, then the average temperature would be minus 18 degrees. So we naturally have a greenhouse effect, but if we change the greenhouse gases, the composition, then um, it would be a lot hotter. If we didn't have the greenhouse um, effect, temperature would be minus 18 degrees lower. Um, another factor that affects um, global continent patterns, sorry, climate patterns, is uh, the distribution of continents and oceans. Um, because what happens, um, warm oceans create high rates of evaporation, which then cause lots of precipitation, and it's the opposite for cold oceans. So um, if uh, like uh, places, continents move, therefore it's going to affect the climate. Remember, we are moving slightly about the, the same speed as your finger now. So um, where continents are in oceans obviously affects the um, climate as well. Also, um, continents can affect the um, flow of ocean currents. Um, continents are warmer than oceans during the summer. It's because of their heat capacity. Continents have a lower heat capacity than oceans, so therefore continents heat up and cool quicker than the oceans. Um, so obviously the bigger the land mass, it affects temperatures and therefore overall climate. So where continents and oceans are, very, very important. And then we've got topography. High mountains are cold. Topography acts like a barrier, which pushes air upwards, which then loses its moisture. That's called a rain shadow. Um, so the lie of the land also affects global climate.